And we're talking about module homes. Like, really? Isn't that interesting? Here we are in Mississauga, bedroom community, or we could be actually in downtown Toronto. It doesn't matter. But I will tell you, there's fabulous uh, module homes out there that you really need to pay attention to and get some more information on. So that's what we're doing today as we're chatting with Richard Brackenberry. And he is operations and development. You know, Richard, you were talking about like renovation additions. So does that come into the picture as well? Yeah, actually, a lot of people come to us at the home shows, and they'll be in the, in the downtown or the core or Tobacco area, and they'll have a nice little bungalow that they've been living in, and they find that they've developed the cellar or the basement with a couple bedrooms and a rec room and a, and a washroom. And really what they'd like to do is uh, they find that they're outgrowing the home. But they love their area. They love the logistics of it. And they say, well, how can I make this happen? And they don't want to endure a six-month to a year-long renovation. Again, the unknowns with respect to your costing and your timelines and living in the sawdust and, and drywall dust and all of that. So what we can do is increase your living space by upwards of 50%. Many people, if you've been in your home in those areas, have appreciated almost, almost 50%, if not higher. And they can tap into that equity and increase their living space by 100% by adding a second-story addition. Really? And this this can be done very cost-effectively. So what about the plans? Like, do you have, say, an architect coming out to take a look at the existing? Because, I mean, if you're, say, for instance, you're blowing out the ceiling, so you're blowing out the roof, and you're getting into a second story. This, of course, requires engineering. Exactly. We would take a look at the site, do a feasibility study, mm-hmm. and then we would make recommendations. And then we would give outlines with respect to cost. Most of these additions are going to be two, three bedroom, one, two baths. Right, okay. So it probably would be a lot easier doing the additions as a single level as opposed to topping up a two story, like a, you know, maybe going yeah, more on land. Yeah, you're going to top up the bungalows and turn them into a two story. Right, okay. And you know, to get that, you're in a, again, you're in an equity position. You can do those renovations for as little as 150, upwards to 225. And remember, you're increasing your living space almost double. You're doing that if you take a look and do your, you being in real estate, you take a look at your market value for a similar house, you'll be in an equity position. And again, remember, it's ordered, it's delivered, it's done. We set it in one day and it takes about 100 man hours to finish it from there. So you're not inconvenienced for six months. Wow. So, and what about the finishings? I mean, you know, I, I think because we talked a bit about drywall. So, do they actually have drywall in the walls and so on? And they're just really patching and taping the uh, the connection of the modules from room to room of of how you're putting this, like we talked about earlier, is the puzzle together of of the design of the home. Yes. You know, Linda, the toughest convert is the 55 year old contractor mm-hmm. who's been working in the business for 30, 35 years. And they just say, this is the zen of construction. It's as good as what I could do. And if I don't have to do it, and I just got to do 20% of the job as opposed to 100% of the job. Oh, big time. Again, (laughs) you can customize whatever kind of trim you want on it. You can customize what flooring you want. You can customize Mm -hmm. your cabinetry. It comes with uh, standard options. Uh, For example, the, the cabinetry is with craftsmanship. It has the dovetail locked in finish. Really, really. Isn't yeah. that interesting? It's it's craftsmanship. And you can go you can go with granite like you can go with granite countertop. You know, I mean the, the key oh, yeah. words out there Anything nowadays you can as do you know. On a site build uh-huh. with a combination of the two, either all or part and do on site is is available. So, you know, and I have to ask because I honestly, I, like seriously, when I go into properties, I don't care if they're townhouses or detached homes or cottages or what they are, I really honestly can't stand popcorn ceilings. Man, I don't know whoever <laughs> came up with that concept years ago, really, honestly, they, they should have just not listened to them, <laughs> transport well, them elsewhere. The pocket, <laughs> I hate sure. those things because to me, it's just a lazy man's way of trying to do seams and you want to cover them up and not do them properly and you throw that yeah, stuff charge on top. You more for it. Well, yeah. yeah, because, you know, the problem is, the yeah. big problem with popcorn ceilings is, and the builders got wind of that because, I mean, if you if you buy a home today and you pay the extra money to upgrade your house and say, I don't want popcorn ceilings, that's the stucco, stipple, if anybody wants to know, because, I mean, they put flat surfaces in bathrooms and kitchens, but the rest of the house, they start putting the popcorn. 
And after you've lived in this home for a few years and you want to paint that or say, for instance, you have something by mistake, you moved it into the house, you hit the ceiling by mistake. It's irreparable unless you start scraping the whole thing down again and then repatching it all. And it's just such an incredible mess. Sure. I'll even give you a tip. So I have, to, have I talked you out of getting even anywhere close to st- the stipple popcorn ceilings? Because well, they do what's them. called. Oh, man. Yeah. You're right. I just want to give your listeners a little tip on that. Uh-huh. If you have any water stain or something like that, right? Javex on a Q-tip. That will take it out. Really? And, and yeah. it won't obstruct it then? Because yeah, if you try to do anything else, it's all going to fall down. It lands on your floor. And they will, and you try and paint it, and it's a mess. Also, it does scrape off fairly quick. And the popular textured ceiling would be what they call a California knockdown or an orange peel style. Mm-hmm. Uh, that's more of today's choice. And again, you're right, there is a trend uh, to non-textured ceilings as well, and it does take more time to feather in your joints and uh, so that you can't see them, and it is more work. Right, right. Well, you know, I think that if it's a reasonable increase of value to do the home without those popcorn ceilings, you're further ahead because you, you just can't paint them. I can't tell you how many properties I've gone into over the years where I've actually told my clients that you better get that scraped down because if it's been painted three times, and somebody went ahead and did, say they did latex, you know, oil paint. <laughs> yes. Can you just imagine? It's brutal. It's just brutal. Oh, for sure. Yes. Yeah, we haven't been doing popcorn for <laughs> uh, well over 15 years. So Wonderful. And, and again, that's up to the client. If the client wants to texture their ceilings, uh, they generally would do that uh, on site. We will finish it and seam it so that it's a flat ceiling finish at no extra charge. I noticed on your website you even have the logo there for Energy Star. So I gather you're using a lot of, you know, mechanics that are part of Energy Star program? Well, that's probably the advantage of, uh, of customizing your home. Uh, not only is it just for design and floor flow and lifestyle, it's the operations and the efficiencies overall of what, you, what is a concern. And we'll find that our modular homes can come in at anywhere 15 to 20% more efficient. Perfect. So you can save money there as well. You know, and you're getting oh, yeah. up-to-date Energy Star uh, utilities and equipment that's yeah. inside your home. And, and if anyone doesn't know what Energy Star is, it, it's basically government approved to show that you have a better energy rating. And whether that's your furnace or your water tanks or your air conditioning, having that. And that's why the uh, government, I mean, they gave some credits back on home renovations if you consider getting yeah. products that had Energy Star ratings on them. And being forward-thinking, depending on the age of the individual, Mm -hmm. a lot of people like to have higher receptacles so we don't have to bend over. Also, uh, grab bars in the shower and bathroom and so so on. You can customize wider hallways. You can customize uh, wider doorways. All this stuff is just ordered to spec at the factory. Mm -hmm. It doesn't cost you more. Very important features. We're listening to uh, Richard Brackenberry from iModule Homes, Inc. And, you know, Richard, while I've got you on the line, the contact number, if anyone wanted to contact you directly, would they just use the uh, 1-800 number? Absolutely. And your number is 519-672-5801. And maybe you can give your email address? Uh, That would be the iModuler Living. Perfect. This is Linda Pinizzato of The Condo Expert, and we will be right back. We're talking today about module homes. Fantastic concept, way to save some money in one sense of building your property, but also you can maybe bring some equity back out of your property. So learn all about it. Hang tight. We'll be right back. Linda Pinizzato, she's not your typical realtor. She's your real estate counselor, teacher, and advisor. Whether it's a house, townhome, or condo, when you're ready, she's your negotiator. With 34 years of experience, Linda guarantees that you have the real estate knowledge you need to make the right decisions. Call Linda Pinizzato at Sutton Group Quantum Realty, 416-561-7373, or visit her at lindapinizzato.com. Hello there, it's Linda Pinizzato of The Condo Expert. And, you know, I have to thank you for tuning in to Connect Me Radio. Every week we have the shows, you know, Wednesday and Friday nights at 7 p.m. And you can also listen to podcasts, you know, at Linda Pinizzato slash Buzzsprout. 
dot com and also iTunes. Just type in Linda Pinizzato or Condo Expert. One thing I want to mention is although the name is Condo Expert, I try to touch a lot of different subjects because you know one thing revolves to the next. I mean, you can talk about condos, you can talk about single family homes, you can talk about the market, the economy. You can talk about last week it was about bugs and pest control. We've talked about mortgage financing, lawyers, the Condo Act review, what's going on with our city hall municipalities, provincial government. Today, the episode's been about modular homes. We touched on mobile homes. There isn't a subject that I can't touch on. And if you are interested in listening to something that has tweaked your mind and you just can't find the real information, please email linda at lindapinizzato.com because this is where you're going to get the information. And it's fun, it's exciting, and at any given time, just type in condoexpert.com and it will give you the total rundown of all the shows that have been out there. There's over 200 shows. Now's the time to learn more. As a realtor for the last 35 years, I've been so fortunate to learn so many different things about everything that we have talked about, and I'm here to help you. So thank you so much for tuning in. You're listening to Linda Pinizzato at The Condo Expert. Hope to hear from you soon, and have a wonderful, fabulous 